done got all the prints and books kind of already on this side stickers and things and Devin am I also for sale yeah you're free <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah just all bits and bobs around here and then the fairy lights aren't on yet so I'll um, see what it looks like tomorrow with the lights on and all and Devin's over there yeah
woman. As you can see, back in Manchester, back in the studio. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of give a little bit of a debrief about what happened in Birmingham. Cause yeah, it was kind of not great. Devin and I most definitely will not be coming back to this con. So that kind of says a lot. So first of all, the positives, we made lots of lovely friends, uh, lots of amazing artists that we were lucky enough to like sit with in the artist alley and yeah it was just really nice to meet all these people and because we were all kind of having the same poor experience we all kind of bonded together in that sense <laughs> that was lovely that part and also got to do lots of lovely art trades with all of them which i will be doing a little haul of in a bit but the actual experience itself as a work event and financially was not great and i don't want to say it was 100 percent collector mania's fault or the organizers or anything or nec uh the venue i think it was a mixture of a lot of things one of them being that the event wasn't uh, like at all directed to people who were interested in art or interested in supporting artists or interested in buying you know original stuff i think it was very marketed and directed at people who are interested in collectibles and you know signed posters and you know taking pictures with some of the celebrities that were there and stuff another thing is that the artist artist alley which i keep doing quotation marks because it was barely an artist alley it was just like a combination of 20 tables um, that was kind of shoved way into the back of the hall of the convention 
and not really advertised at all or even any directions towards it and just no sort of no one knew that we were there because of that a lot of the people who were there weren't actually the kind of audience that any of us artists were expecting or hoping for uh, it was very families and um old white men who love comics and were really just there to buy Funko Pops, essentially. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a lot of the audience that was there was either there just to see the celebrities or to buy collectors um, items and by the time that they realized that there was an artist alley there they kind of were just kind of looking around but didn't really ever have any intention of going to see the artist alley, which is very different from other conventions where like for example, in London MCM or at Thought Bubble, the event has a very big emphasis on the artist alley and there's a lot of marketing that goes into the artist alley and uh, a lot of effort put into helping the artists att attending the convention and helping them with any issues they might have and basically making it a uh, profitable opportunity for both parties. Whereas um, at this con, that really wasn't the case. So yeah it wasn't great we got a lot of weird comments from people coming up to the stalls like I've, I've never had any like bad experiences that comes with especially not with any um customers or any of the people uh, that were attending the convention so this con kind of was <laughs> left a bad taste in my mouth purely because of the amount of like weird interactions that I had with a lot of the people attending the convention and just the comments that they left not just to me but to some of the other people who were tabling in the artist alley yeah it was just not a great experience for a lot of us and those are uh, you know a few of the reasons why we will not probably be coming back on top of that we like none of us made a profit so the actual convention itself did not help us make enough funds to even even cover the costs and the expenses of going to the convention so purely on a financial basis that it was also not worth it so with all that said <laughs> i will now give you guys a little bit of a haul of all the lovely artists that were there who i did art trades and who i purchased things from as well uh because there were some really lovely people there that i made connections with who are also going to be at other conventions that i'm going to be at this year so it's going to be awesome to see them again let's show you guys the cool stuff that i got so I've laid out all of the goodies that I got this weekend. Some of them are from Art Trades. Some of them are also from stuff that I bought off of the artists on top of that because they had lovely stuff. So starting off over here, I got these gorgeous goodies from Kate Mia White. And I got this gorgeous, gorgeous enamel pin. He had like these really cute enamel pin badges, all cat themed. So I got this one, it's the Hermit because it's in a little box. And I got this really cute cat tote bag and also this really gorgeous Umbreon print for my boyfriend. So then a few tables out for me was the Wonderboro. They were so, so sweet and we did a little art trade. Uh, I got these really cute badges of Koro Sensei from Assassination Classroom. I'm obsessed with them, they're so sweet. And then out in the traders table area was this really lovely girl who actually came over to my table first and I didn't even realize she was there like working or at a trader table but she had the cutest stuff um her at is new grl uh new girl i think is how i'm supposed to pronounce that and i saw these um like i don't even know how to explain these like they, they change like they're super cool so i got this one of inosuke and i got this one of midoriya so he's got like yeah so depending on the perspective it has different designs it's so cool and also of course an assassination classroom sticker sheet because i don't usually see much assassination classroom stuff at a con so i was really happy to see some stuff here and then two tables down from me was a really lovely guy actually who did an art trade with me and he got he gave me these two really cute stickers this one that i'm obsessed with of anya from spy family and her little penguin look how cute that is and also this super cute crow who is actually the familiar of one of his OCs that he had lovely stuff at, the, at his table and stuff and then I got quite a lot of stuff from Michael who was a few tables down and behind me and he had the most gorgeous prints like look at these and they're exactly the kind of color palette that I'm obsessed with so I did an art trade with him and also bought some stuff on top of that got this gorgeous print of Anya this gorgeous one of Lloyd and then this really beautiful one of, of Ray from Promised Neverland so gorgeous 
Um, here is his at stuff if you guys want to follow him. He also put in this adorable Nezuko sticker in for free, which I was like, oh, are you sure? She's so cute. I'm obsessed with this sticker, it's beautiful. And then behind me were actually two really lovely people who are also from Manchester. So we actually met them on the train down. So now we're like friends, which is lovely. So right behind me was Beth Swift and she's so sweet. She gave me these two little stickers. We did a little art trade. They're gorgeous, a little, little dinosaur skull and some little ghosties, which as you know, gotta have the ghosties. Here is like all of her ads. If you guys wanna go have a look at her. And next to her was Kaz, who also had just like the funniest art, uh, like out of the whole like stalls, like everything had butts on them. It was so cool and so funny. So I got this really cute print that says, be gentle with yourself. And this Eddie sticker, which is so cute. That's their arts as well. If you want to have a look, let me see if there's, yeah. <laughs> then right next to me on my right was Nori, who was so, so lovely. She had a whole stall based on like Pakistani art and like basically things about her culture and just such gorgeous art style as well. She had a lot of really beautiful drawings of like women and stuff in her style, which was so beautiful. And this gorgeous print of a tiger. He's so cute. Look at him. He does have a name. I've forgotten it now, um, but he does have a name. He's really, really cute. And he's based on an actual character from a Pakistani folktale, apparently. Yeah, if in the editing I figure out the name of the, <laughs> the tiger, I'll put it in here. Thank you, Nori, so much for this beautiful tiger. And again, an art trade. It's so, so lovely. And then also behind me next to Beth was illustrations. Here is all of her ads and stuff. She also had really cute stuff, all fan art based things. They were so, so pretty. So I got this really beautiful sticker of Spider-Man and uh, MJ and this really cute sticker. Yeah, really, really love these. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys also some honorable mentions that I only got business cards of. I will definitely be following all these people. So here are all the other business cards, people that were there and give them some love, give them a follow. And yeah, it was just a really lovely artist alley with lots of really, really gorgeous things, as you can see. Thank you to everyone who gave me really cute things.